The AoE damage is important in tank infantry engagement in Cold 3 due to how the aggressive mechanic works. Generally, when a tank fires its main gun at infantry units, it can either roll, accuracy or scatter, depending on the accuracy value of the unit. If it's roll accuracy, the projectile is guaranteed to land on the target. If the unit misses the accuracy roll, it will use scatter value instead. Whichever role may be, expecting a tank directly hitting on the infantry model is unreliable. This video was intended to be the second part of the AoE damage about tank's abilities and tank destroyer's AoE profiles. However, I realized that some sections of the first video were misleading, such as when I assumed the German and the Dark tanks had the same stat and when I used the campaign Panzer 3 in the shark instead of the multiplayer Panzer 3, I also compared the medium tanks from different factions against each other and I think it is more meaningful when comparing units in the same faction instead. So I take this opportunity to revise and combine the first video into this video. With that out of the way, let us begin. You can access the AoE multiplier in the Ascent Editor by navigating to the Weapon tab in the Attribute dropdown. Select the Ballistic Weapon folder under the Faction folder in the Weapon tab. Then select a unit file, expand weapon back, and expand the area of effect. Under the area of effect drop down, there are three damage multiplier values for different ranges near, mid, and far. There are also distance values of the AoE below the damage multiplier. The products of the base damage and damage multipliers at distances are as follows. Visualizing this data in a graph shows each tank's effectiveness against infantry. The Sherman 25 and 26 variants excel at sustained damage to infantry due to their longer AoE ranges. To put it in a perspective, most tanks have AoE radius of 3, while the Sherman have a 4.5 AoE radius. You can expect them to consistently deal around 20 to 30 damage to an infantry model. On the other hand, the Greyhound has a better AoE drop-off than the Sherman, but it has a very short AoE radius, meaning the accuracy value is more important to the Greyhound. Returning to the editor, there are two more values we're interested in, the other radius and squad damage number. The other radius determines the maximum range of the AoE, meaning the AoE damage cannot exceed this outer radius value. These values mainly differentiate the AoE of the tank destroyer's projectiles from the other projectiles, while the TDs have a shorter AoE radius to its respective outer radius value. In general, medium tanks AoE have the same radius as the outer radius value. The squad damage number determines the number of models per squad that can take damage from a projectile. In most cases, the AoE of medium tank ballistics is capped at 3 models per squad, which impacts the Sherman the most as they have an AoE distance up to 4.5. This does not impact other tank as much because they have an AoE radius of 3 or lower, and usually there are only 3 models per squad that take damage. For instance, Greyhound and Black Prince have no limit to squad damage numbers, but their AoE rarely damages more than 3 models. However, it should not be disregarded as it can be a game changer when the star align and it successfully hit the blob directly. The units that the squad damage number impacts the most are the units with longer AoE radius, such as the self-propelled artilleries and the Shermans. These vehicles have up to 2 times longer AoE radius compared to the typical medium tanks, although the majority of their damage falls sharply early on. Additionally, the projectiles travel very slowly, making them easy to dodge. The wide AoE radius enables them to deal consistent damage to target even if they miss those shots, and the numbers of models they can deal damage to will greatly impact their overall damage. On the other hand, the Shermans are the only medium tanks with an AoE radius of 4.5, which is the stat between the Bunker Busters and the medium tanks. Moreover, they can use abilities such as HE shells and 
canister shells, which allow them to have comparable AOE radius to the bunker busters but with more damage and straight line projectiles. Up next is the British. Their medium tanks have the shortest AOE radius in the game. However, it does not mean that they are ineffective against infantry. The British tanks have a much better damage drop off than the other factions. Suppose we compare the AOE damage of British tank to the Sherman 76. This comparison shows a substantial difference in how the damage is dropping over distance and this indicates that the British tank performed well at taking down model but it lacks sustained damage. Even so, the British have many abilities to work around the smaller AOE radius and to improve their vehicles' chances to hit infantry. The training upgrade, second veterancy bonus, and radio net ability improve the tank's accuracy value. Additionally, abilities such as designate target and Humber's mark area make the enemies easier to hit, allowing those vehicles to land direct shots at infantry units. Another thing that is interesting for the British is the Black Prince. Although it has the base damage of 240 and it doesn't have a squad damage cap, its damage buffed sharply and it only performs slightly better than the Panzer IV in the sustained damage. As for the Germans, most of their tanks only have an AOE radius up to a distance of 3. However, it should be noted that the Panzer IV and the Tiger of the two German factions do not share the same AOE drop-off. The Dax Panzer IV has a slightly better drop-off than the Wehrmacht Panzer IV, whereas the Wehrmacht Tiger also has a slightly better AOE than its Dax counterpart. The Wehrmacht tank destroyers are unique compared to the other factions' TDs. The TDs, such as the Stoop, have slightly larger AOE, but the differences are insufficient to make their cannons effective against infantry. However, the Panther is the only exception where it is the only TD with the medium tanks drop off. The Panzer IV command tank is also an interesting case. Its high explosive mode has a similar profile to self-propelled guns. However, it only has around two-thirds of the AOE damage compared to the Scott. It also has almost non-AOE damage in the AP mode. Regarding tank's ability, the Tiger's time fuse shot stands out the most. The time fuse substantially increases the AOE damage and radius of the shot. Moreover, the ability shot doesn't have a squad damage cap, making them able to wipe an entire squad with a single shot. Moving to that, the Carrot, Tomato, and and Panzer III cannons perform poorly against infantry due to the sharp and early damage drop-off and their shorter AOE radius making them unable to make meaningful damage to infantry compared to the other tanks AOE. The Italian box high explosive ability could deal significant amount of damage but it is still very easy to dodge because most of its AOE damage is gone by the distance of two. The AOE damage is just one of the factors used to decide where to allocate the limited resources. The top Mu and coaxial machine guns also significantly impact a tank's performance against infantry. For example, while the Panzer III's AOE might not be as effective, it has machine guns to make up for that, and the passive such as superior fire drill further increases the effectiveness of the Hall and coaxial machine guns. My personal favorite is the Sherman's high explosive ability. This ability appears to be weak due to its sharp drop off, making it very unlikely to down an infantry model in a single shot. However, its AOE radius increases up to a radius of 6 when the ability is active, which is on par with the Sherman 105. Additionally, the HE shell can damage up to 5 models per squad. These values contribute to the Sherman's impressive consistency in dealing damage to infantry, and it is even more fantastic when there are more than one Sherman using that ability. If you're interested in how I got those graphs or want to fact check my work, the spreadsheet is in the comment section and thank you for watching.